How did I end up here? Well, let's see. All right, welcome to the channel today. We're going to continue our work with uh, the uh, phasers and our optocoupler and finally get to the bottom of how did I get there. Um, so last time uh, we covered optocouplers, but at, at least those that work like light dependent resistors. We, we measure characteristics of those devices. Um, so something like this. Uh, we measured, we got our measurements in, and we chose, I chose two that I'm going to use today. Uh, I'm going to replace them uh, in circuit uh, where JFATs uh, were, and, you know, and we'll see if we can make it work. Uh, to mod when we modify that circuit, we, we get to work with some... Um, constraints, you know, because we are not uh, designing strictly for those uh, optocoupers. So, uh, all links and details from this video are in the accompanying post, which is in the description somewhere. Uh, so, you don't need to take any notes, just go there and find everything that you need there. So, um, this is phase 45 from one of the many videos. Uh, just to refresh memory, Let's see what we have there. Um, so we have input buffer, output buffer. I used input output buffer there here. I'm, I just used uh, uh, op amp for uh, this. Um, we have oscillator, Sim simplified version here uh, in the schematic, a bit more complicated here. In I did some uh, extra pots here. The one uh, I set up everything so it should work with uh, these two JFATs. There's some biasing trim pots somewhere there. It's working. Um, anyways, there's some biasing reference points. But the, the main uh, part that we will be working with is uh, this here. I extracted it here into this uh, smaller uh, breadboard and I'm going to try to replace that part and add our which ones did it take four I think and one and I'll find them eventually um anyway everything is here I'm just gonna swap them later on but first thing uh this will have to wait for the moment because we don't know how are we going to drive these uh, optocouplers uh I had to figure this out and uh, let's cover that first. So I want to keep the circuit as much as possible the same uh, as what we have here. You know, I I wanted to keep this oscillos, uh, os oscillator, you know, it's a bit complicated how it's implemented and it has this biasing and uh, um, reference values there as well. So this is very good if, you know, uh, I have this oscillos, uh, oscillator output and uh, just all I am using is this one wire and the power. So that saves me a lot of trouble here. It's less messy than it, it would be. But here, this is where I want to swap this out. But I can't use it just like this. So this is controlled by current, our um, optocoupler. Uh, so we need to do something about that. How how can we uh, output of this uh, LFO, uh, our low frequency oscillator, to drive this current? So I came up with this idea back. This is like one of the first uh, I did uh, this LPB linear power booster. If uh, you have seen that before, you might be familiar with it, one of the first, I suppose, and the simplest um, effects. Um, if we look at here, we have a transistor, and we vary what uh, input uh, voltage here. What happens here is this voltage is translated onto uh, 
voltage over this R4, and we can now control how much current goes through this R4 base. It is directly correlated with the voltage here, and that current is actually going, the same current goes through our R2 uh, resistor in, in, in collector. And that's how we get uh, amplified output. I can try to use what we already learned before, you know. So in this case, if I if I replace this um, resistor with our LED part of the uh, optocoupler, we should be able to somehow, we don't want this, uh, somehow control this current. And because we, we have control of all of this, we can control the range of the uh, current going through that. At least that's in theory, okay? Um, Let's see uh, how this, you know, uh, how this works in practice. Actually, what I did, um, I prepared a circuit for this. So let me show that here. So it's pretty similar. What I did here, I kind of created this uh, buffer because I just wanted to isolate uh, uh, the oscillator from the rest of the circuit. Uh, and then I kind of a DC couple this. So this is kind of a just sizing my voltage here from the oscilla, uh, oscillator. And then um, I have kind of a small uh, resistor here. I need it small because it's very small current that we're dealing with, uh, as you've seen in previous video. But anyway, I was just trying other things. So our TLO72, it's not really uh, rail to rail, so I can't really get, the problem here is I need to go really close to zero, and that's not going to work. So I kind of thought maybe I'm just gonna lift this emitter car, um, voltage with using uh, diode. So Let's see, I actually am, uh, simulated this uh, in, so I didn't just go and, you know, trust myself, I suppose. Uh, I went into Spice and did a bit of a simulation here. Uh, I put some LED here just to run it. It pretty much is the same. This is the, the uh, oscillator um, here. These are the rest of the circuit and Current, you can see, goes from 0 to 2.7 milliamps. We saw that previously, that that might work. Now, the thing is, um, what I realized when I was trying different things here was that actually um, this resistor here is causing me trouble. Uh, it messes up with my um, voltage divider here. So I kind of a, had to connect here rather than... So there's some resistor here that we need to uh, take the... But it, it should still work. Um, obviously, it's a bit tricky to, to do this uh, straight. You know, you go to the circuit and just plug it in and, and expect it to work. I don't expect that. So what I, I prepared here a circuit like this, just put a LED here and I see if I can make this to work and then, you know, uh, connect everything and if this uh, LED is kind of going blinking in the same rate as this one, we might be on something, right? Let's, let's see if I can make this work. Okay, so I should have everything covered. So this is going, this is power, this is V connected, everything. So it should be exactly as what's on the screen here. So um, let me just plug it in and see if that works. Just trying to see if and you can see that 
they kind of uh, blink at the same uh, rate. I can slow it down. Yeah. So in theory, this is kind of working. Um, but we need to, to uh, drive two of these, right? So let me preserve the battery. This is okay, we can do this here. Uh, we have enough headroom here to put another one in uh, series and we can drive both because it's the same current. They're not matched completely. I could use the other one here, the, the other uh, op amp on TL072, uh, but you know, it's a lot of work uh, and I don't even know if this is going to work. Uh, in the end, and how is it going to work? But if I wanted to do this, I can just uh, put them in uh, series and we can have another LED. So I'm not going to do that now. Let me get to play a bit uh, the one with JFET, and then we're going to try to swap this in and see if, if that works. And then we'll go from there. So it's working um, as you would expect with JFET. So let's let me rewire this and see if this is working with uh, our contraption here. Darn it! Uh, in the middle of the <laughs> playing with this, I dropped everything on the ground yeah sometimes things happen okay so let me fire this up now okay so Jeez. okay so this is v ref so i'm gonna replace this this one here plug it in back this is, where's the power, should be here, right? Oh, what's this? <laughs> So it helps if everything is connected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add the other one, replace the other JFET and we go from there. Okay, I put them in series and let's see if this is going to work. Okay. And it's not working because I got this wrong.
Okay. Uh, well, I think this works just fine. I mean, it will require some uh, extra uh, work probably to get it to work better, but you know, this is how things get really messy, right? With me trying all different things here. Um, uh, this just shows that the circuit, I suppose, is, is sound and uh, this phase 45, uh, if we can figure out any other way of controlling resistance, we can, you know, we can use those other components, this circuit. I might do something about it in one of the future videos. Who knows, you know. Uh, until then, you know, stay tuned and see what else we can explore. Until next time.